Last year, Victoria's breeding industry joined forces with a common objective, promote our stallions, recognise our racing heroes and showcase every aspect of our great thoroughbred industry. The result, the inaugural Victorian Stallion Book. 2009 saw the first Victorian Stallions book delivered to nearly 11,000 broodmare owners, making it the most widely distributed book of its kind in Australasia and an extremely cost-effective direct marketing medium. Thanks to the foresight of several industry stakeholders, the final product was nothing short of spectacular, delivering on everything it promised and more with outstanding reviews. To think that it's taken nearly 200 years to produce a book like this is quite amazing. It's scary that we don't think of these things and do things with a little bit more courage and conviction in the breeding. Um, I know things do take time, but this is too long, too long. You either stand up in your state and in your city and believe in your own horse breeding. Um, it took, I know it took 2,000 years to put wheels on suitcases. I knew that was a long time. <laughs> but this is the second longest I've ever known. To finally produce a stallion book for Victoria. It's quite amazing. So, congratulations, the courage and the foresight to actually start sometime because the most important uh, step is the next step in the right direction of anyone's life and any production. The rationale was to try and look after all the studs. Um, it's not about uh, certainly uh, the bigger farms and Swettenham stud and uh, the other farms that are very well represented in the book. It's also about the, the smaller breeder and we're trying to get to all breeders of uh, racehorses in Australia. We want to develop the Victorian product and the best way to develop the Victorian product is to showcase it in its entirety and uh, we believe that we've done that with the book and we've uh, given it a platform to launch itself into the future. Victorian breeders have had a, a wide range of very innovative initiatives in recent years to promote very much the northeast, the centre of the breeding industry, not exclusively so within the state, and align it with a very uh, cultural or food and wine experience. So they're bringing together all the different components you need to create an identity of a state-based industry. Oh, we're very pleased. We think it's uh, it's a bit overdue, but it's a fantastic book. The quality is absolutely top notch, and it encourages owners and breeders uh, in Victoria. And of course, the Super Vobis is uh, is also a good scheme to encourage people to breed in Victoria and to race their horses in Victoria. And we're very very pleased with it. Very happy for a number of the smaller breeders that since the book's already gone to press. They've, uh, they've received bookings and they're just uh, tickle pink with the way that it's all gone and that's, that's what it's about. It's about developing the entire industry, providing the numbers that we have for Victoria down the track so that our racing product continues to be the best in Australia and Racing Victoria has uh, identified that. We need a lot more foals bred in Victoria to race here in Victoria. I mean, it really does galvanise the whole industry. I mean, RBL have been a great supporter of it but really backed by the breeders and this book, this Victorian Stallion book is already a first class sort of publication and it's a stepping stone and a platform for years to come. Um, I know it's gone out to a large amount of uh, people, single breeders, multiple breeders and really it's, uh, it's something which uh, Victoria should be very proud of. The book was uh, sent out to as many people as we could possibly send it out to. If anybody didn't receive a copy of the book then they should ensure that they're recorded on the stud book mail lists for uh, copies in the future. But certainly, it's not uh, certainly not limited by the number of brood mares that uh, are owned. It's uh, it's open to anybody with uh, one mare and above. I got back from Newmarket this morning, and where it was Tattersall sales. Uh, I mean, literally 24 hours ago, and there it was on the desk of Kirsten Rowsling, who's uh, uh, the head of the uh, head of the thoroughbred breeders of of, of England. So having over sort of 70 stallions that represent probably about 60 percent of the. The, uh, the stallions that are standing in Victoria and certainly you know, the most of the commercial stallions is fantastic and, and really probably gets to the, uh, to the interstate breeders who might not have necessarily been as familiar with the product as we are in Victoria and it's, uh, it's a matter of not always preaching to the converted but getting it into a new market and I think you know, we've now got a, a terrific lineup of stallions here that we can do that so I think it should be really well received. 
the whole of Victoria is sort of very good value. I mean, the broodmares for the broodmare farms, there's some great feeder farms out there with some very professional horse husbandry going on, great farriers, great vets. You know, it's, uh, it's really sort of, um, I mean, it's always been here. It's just getting commended and recognised for it. We need a healthy and growing racing industry, principally on the basis of prize money, uh, to entice people to invest in thoroughbred breeding. For some time there's been a, a bit of a concerted marketing effort in Victoria. It's a bit of a, a team spirit uh, in the state that people uh, people don't necessarily try and outdo the, the, the neighbour down the road but actually want to promote the state on a whole. The people sort of got together and saw this is a, a pretty important exercise to, to promote their product as well as the state in itself. I just want to reinforce, especially from a thoroughbred breeders Victoria point of view, the, the relationship that the Victorian breeding industry has with Racing Victoria and the Victorian state government certainly puts us at the envy of all other states. Uh, at no time in the last five or six years have we ever had any issues when, uh, when going to government or industry to get the support for these sorts of projects and it certainly makes our role a lot easier when promoting uh, the great state of Victoria. So again, to the Victorian state government and, uh, and to Racing Victoria Limited, uh, we thank you very much. In 2010, we're raising the bar. We're taking the book online and going multimedia by launching the Victorian Stallions Thoroughbred Hub a complete portal to showcase our industry to the world and complement the book. You are about to receive your opportunity to market your product and services to a broader target audience at a cost-effective rate. Together, we can promote, grow and sustain the Victorian thoroughbred breeding industry. Victoria, not the first, just the best.